Hello, I'm Melissa Melton of the Rural Community Assistance Partnership. In this segment, we're going to be talking about filtration and sedimentation processes. The flock needs a place to settle out of the water. Taking place in the settling basins, the flock simply sinks to the bottom. Factors affecting good sedimentation are surface area of the basin and the time. Time can be extended within the settling basin with baffling that makes the water flow very slowly in a zigzag pattern from one end of the basin to the other. Once the sediment sinks to the bottom of the tank, it has to be removed or it will build up and cause problems in the next step of the treatment process. Some sediment basins have cone-shaped bottoms where the sediment is collected. Others have bottoms that slope to one end or have squeegee baffles that very slowly scrape the bottom collecting the sediment at one end. The sediment is then pumped out into a sludge basin or if the water treatment plant is connected to a city sewer system, it's pumped into the sewer system directly. Some plants without automated sediment collection must periodically drain the sedimentation basin and manually clean it out. Even some automated plants should be drained and cleaned occasionally. This is a sludge press. The sediment collected at the bottom of the basin must be routinely removed from the basin and properly disposed. Here you can actually see the organic material that we're pulling out of your drinking water every day. It's black because of the chemicals we've added. EPA regulates this process because some of these chemicals are harmful to our health and they want to eliminate them. The combination of some chemicals creates these disinfection byproducts that we want to reduce or eliminate in the system. The pipes are painted three different colors. Green for raw water, blue for potable water, and brown or yellow is for the sludge. We're in a control room where we turn on the raw water and the high service pumps daily. We can also monitor pressures and tank levels within our system. This is done through a computer. After the large particles settle out, we go through a filtration process. Filtration is simply the passing of water through a permeable fabric or a bed of porous material, such as sand, that collects the suspended solids from an incoming flow. Some systems may use direct filtration. This is possible only when the raw water is of good quality, having low turbidity and few contaminants, even during storm events. When the water is of good quality, direct filtration and disinfection may be the only treatment required for safe drinking water. Safe drinking water regulations and standards mandated by federal and state laws may necessitate water systems to filter their water to remove the contaminants that did not settle out during the coagulation, flocculation, and sedimentation processes. As the filters become clogged, they must be cleaned. This is accomplished through backwashing. Backwashing is reversing the flow and increasing the speed at which the water passes back through the filter. This blasts the clogged particles off and out of the filter. The backwashing process is similar for all filters except slow sand filters whereby the top few inches are periodically skimmed off. When the treatment process is complete, the water is good enough to drink. And from here, the water is sent out to the customers through the distribution system.